Our project is called Computer Numerical Controlled Machine in collaboration with the UNDP. So our objective is to build a CNC radar machine in order to support local artisans in the field of road carpentry by providing them some CNC ma machines designed and manufactured locally here in Senegal, which really led to the development of digital manufacturing in the country. And that will lead also to those companies who work in those areas to have a higher competitiveness at the international level. So for this project, we have to go through different steps. So first of all, we started with a background research. We went to the carpenters to see what are the problems they're facing in their daily life. So after that, we decided that we'll go with the CNC machine. Now, there are many types of CNC machines we had to make a choice. So after making some research, doing some analysis, we decided to go with um, a CNC router because it's more affordable and very easy to use. And after that, we started the design of the machine. We used Fusion 360 to design the machine. And while designing the machine, we were trying to look for the pieces we need for the machine, all the metallic and the electronic components we need. After that, we um, we started. The, we went to the carpenter. Yeah. Went to the carpenter to cut the wooden pieces because the, the frame of the machine is made of wood. So we went to the carpenter and he helped us cut the wood. Now, once we had all the pieces, we were able to start the assembly. And after that, we test the machine to see if if everything was working well. We had the deadline of three months to accomplish this project according to the UNDP request. During these three months, the key steps just set by my fellow mate were carried on. And you know, to complete this project, we needed a lot of resources. First of all, we started with Fusion 360 to make the design of the machine. And after that, we, used, we needed some metallic parts, like some rails, linear rails, some bolt screws used to make sure that the machine will, move, will work well. And we needed some wood because the frame of the machine is made of wood. We used plywood and some solid wood. And finally, we used some electronic components for the motors, the motors, the Arduino with CNC shield to control the machine, and some fans, you know, to help in um, in making the machine work well. One of the main challenges that we faced while realizing this project was making a change of our of the design of the machine. Because at first we come up with our own specificities and we build our own CNC machine. And then we had had like to make some changes of that design to make it more adaptable and to respond like to new criteria of the UNDP wishes. The success criteria of our project is to be able to build a machine with a high precision in a short amount of time and to make it affordable for the local artisans to benefit from it. Uh, the other main challenge that we faced also was ensuring like, the safety of our machine by having strong joints so that while using the machine it will be more smooth not hard to work with it. Some potential risks associated with this project are, first of all, like the durability of the wooden of the wooden framework. We, in long term, due to the vibration of the drill, that can cause like the losing like, of the joints of the machine. And the other potential risks like is also some environmental constraints here that we have in Africa which are the temperature and the humidity. So for this project, we worked here at DAOS in partnership with UNDP. So we were here to build the machine based on the, the specifications and we tried to make the best, the best machine for them. The next step of our project is to implement the machine by training the local artisans through workshops. We also plan to build a software or a mobile app that will help them to a database for their designs, their projects, which will create a relationship between the local artisans and the customers.
Mais dans cette machine, il y a une capacité de faire et de vous préciser avec une bonne précision pour les modifier. Mais pour fabriquer la structure de la, de la machine, il y avait des pièces en bois. Maintenant, pour ces pièces-là, il y avait aussi des cercles pour mettre les moteurs là-bas. Maintenant, les cercles, si le cercle n'est pas bien, bien placé, donc le moteur ne pourra pas se tenir correctement. Donc, si le, moteur ne va, si le moteur ne peut pas se tenir correctement, il y aura des problèmes lors de la, de la vie publique. Et c'est très dangereux parce que le moteur peut se, peut se casser durant, euh, durant le processus.